Hey, this is Kevin Bees back for tip number 31. I think we're up to 31 today. And uh, today is a fantastic tip that you're gonna wanna listen to again and again. Uh, this is a tip I originally learned uh, when I was working with Tony Robbins' organization. I was a, um, a master coach on his team at the time. And the director of coaching was a guy called Mark Von Musser. Now you may not hear heard of Mark, but he shared this fantastic tip and I've used it with hundreds and hundreds of clients subsequent to, uh, to learning from Mark. And it's always had a dramatic and positive impact on them. And so I wanna share it with you today. Now, when would you use this tip? If you were ever feeling in any kind of um, fear or anxiety or overwhelm, this tip, uh, it becomes a very valuable tip to use. Okay, now as an example, uh, what situations might you use this? For me, I, I frequently use it when I need to go and present. Now, particularly if I'm going on a stage in front of even 20 people, but 300 people, uh, for me, even though I know my stuff, there's, there's still a nervousness, a, you may call it an anxiety or even excitedness, and you can feel those butterflies in your stomach. For me, this technique is really great in that situation. Or another example, uh, one of my clients was going to a very uh, important meeting. It was a make or break kind of deal negotiation. And of course, uh, naturally they were, were anxious about it. Like if it went one way, all this work would be a waste of time, you know, all this effort they got to this point. And if it went the other way, things were just gonna grow really rapidly. So uh, we use this technique to get them out of the fear or the anxiety of that meeting, to get them in the right energy and the right space to go in there and, and have a successful meeting, which, which is what happened. So I think you get the idea of how you can use this technique let's actually talk about what it is then I call it the magic minute and what we're gonna do now I'm just gonna take you through it. I'm gonna give you an experience of it so uh, if you're listening or watching this uh, make sure you are in a place where you can just give this a go if you're driving then maybe don't do this now do it later but uh, first things first what you do is you stand on your feet and make sure you plant your feet firmly into the ground and just feel any any energy coming through them next thing you want to do is put your hand on your heart like I say, get your hand on your heart, and then you can close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, okay, and feel into your body, I'm gonna need to take five deep breaths in and out. And as you breathe out, you're gonna let go of any negativity, any anxiety, any stress, any overwhelm, anything that's not serving you in your body. And when you breathe in, you're gonna breathe in any positivity or energy or resources that you need to help you with this event, okay? So we're gonna do that right now. So feet firmly in the ground, close your eyes, hand on your chest, and five deep breaths in and out. As you complete that fifth breath, keep your eyes closed, and I want you to see this event that you have been anxious or concerned about. I want you to go out to the completion of the event. I want you to go to maybe 10 minutes after the event is finished, okay? And it was a successful completion. Everything went as well as you could have expected. It was, it was the best possible outcome you can imagine. So you're 10 minutes after the event, you get the feeling, what is that like? How, how does that feel to have completed this event and it's gone exactly as you wanted it? And as you get that feeling, let it wash all over your body. Really enjoy that feeling. And then give thanks in advance. Thank the situation, thank the universe, thank yourself for the event turning out the way you want it to be. And once you've done it, once you've thanked, getting given thanks, then just feel free to open your eyes, look around and notice how you feel. Uh, for most people in doing this one minute exercise, it can really shift the energy very quickly. So I encourage you to try this on, use the magic minute. And of course, as always, I'd love to hear how you go. If you have any questions on it, um, leave me a comment. Or if you like this and you find it a benefit, save it, come back and use it again, or share it with anyone else who you think it would be of use. So that's the magic minute. This has been episode 31, and I will catch you tomorrow for episode 32.